Oh god, this is gonna be cringy. Hey, what's up, gamers? It's me, XX October Plays, here to bring you the best skater with an eight in the word tips and tricks of 2013. That's, That's right. right, I'm gonna teach you how to become an epic skate master in just 10 minutes, so stick around. Welcome back to Twisted History, the show where I take a look at cool and unique items in the Roblox catalog and expose their origins. Last time we finished up the Domino Crown series, so today we're going to be talking about a different series. Usually I only cover hats that are widely known and revered by the Roblox community, however I'm going to be completely honest with you when I say that I don't hear a ton of casual nor old school players talk about this series. Hell, I don't even think traders talk about this series. I, I mean, this and the Dominus series are the two series where I believe that every single hat is ridiculously expensive. So. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. The skater hats, or the frowny face skate hats, are quite the unique case when it comes to hats. First of all, the name literally has a skateboard in it. So, I don't, I don't really know what to think, to be honest. And second of all, it's the only series of hats that keeps the mesh 100% the same throughout the 13 or so years it's been running. That's right, this series of hats are older than some of y'all. Each hat in this series uses this mesh, whose official name is Skater Laney. I have literally no explanation for this, and neither does the wiki. Who knows, maybe it's good old John Shedletsky's long lost daughter or something, I don't know. There are nine variations of the Skater Hat series, and if you're wondering, what about the turkey one? What about the Bloxer cap? What about- Yeah, those aren't part of the Skater series, so I'm not going to be talking about them because that would take way too long. I'm only gonna be talking about the frowny face skater hats, or ones that look like this. Starting with the original, the RBX skater hat came out on September 25th, 2009 for 135 Robux. It was disgusting, ugly brown that made sure no sane person would ever buy it. I'm only slightly upset about this. But October, it doesn't have frowny face in the title. Doesn't that mean it's not on the list? No. Anyway, for being the first hat in the series, Roblox really had some things to iron out. You could say they had to... grind. The next hat, or the one many people wrongly credit as being the first skate hat, is Red Grind. This hat came out on January 11th, 2010 for 7 whole Robux. Damn, bro, if you be dropping 7 cents on a hat, you be dripping out of your mind. TN's on the feet. Assassination Vacation exclusive. But seriously, with only 100 copies of this hat on release, it naturally jacked the price way up. This gave everybody who wanted this hat a serious case of FOMO, or fear of missing out, and kind of started the whole hype around limited hats. It's pretty versatile and goes well with a lot of different items, but seriously, 7 cents bro? That's a little too much of a flex. About a month later, the Gold Ollie was released on February 18th, 2010 for another 7 Robux. The incredible change made this time was that the hat was yellow. And my day is ruined. Look, I'm no fashionista by any means. I mean, I wear a t-shirt of myself on it for crying out loud. But I think that yellow on a hat like this looks pretty ugly. Especially considering that it's regarded as one of the hardest hats to get via trading. Most people who own this thing set it for not for trade, so getting one can prove extremely difficult. Next up is my personal favorite skater hat, the Euro 180. This hat is unique in the sense that it faces backwards instead of forwards. Oh yeah, no, I know, really getting into the gangsta territory, dude, pick your side. If you want to prove that you're a true gangsta, you wear this hat and the cool guy face. Absolute Chad. Anyway, this is by far the most expensive hat and the most rare, even more so than the gold ollie. Shout out to deleted accounts! Glad Roblox really cares about their side hustle NFT business. Anyway, up next is a fan favorite, the Star Tail Slide. This one goes with just about anything because it's black and white. No longer will you be locked to good old Roy G. Biv. You can now branch out into any other color scheme you want, except cartoony rainbow. If you wear cartoony rainbow items, you are one of two things. Trying way too hard to be a gamer, or ten. Or both. Hey, I don't judge. Next is my second most favorite hat, the Purple Indie. This bad boy came out in 2011 and is... Drum roll, please. Thank you. 
purple. It has the best design by far on the front, and actually looks really cool just by itself. Unfortunately, there are only 46 copies of this item left, so if you want one, good luck. And as a side note, this was the first Roblox Limited to sell out in five seconds. Five seconds to get this thing. In 2011. Next up is mine and many others least favorite hat in the series, the incredibly ugly Green Sidewinder. It even sounds ugly. Part of the reason this thing is so hated is because it was not 7 Robux, but rather 30,000. Kind of a big jump, but eh, whatever. Being released a whole four years after the purple indie, this thing is gross. I mean, seriously gross. I mean, why would you ever buy that? Here's a list of items that are 15 times better looking and way cheaper that you could buy for 30,000 Robux. Okay, scratch that. This thing is the worst one. The confusingly named front stand is the reverse of the star tail slide and infinitely worse. While every hat up until this point was black and some other color, this thing is white like piercingly white, and it looks so bad with everything. This along with the white Sparkle Time fedora just looked dirty for some reason. Wow, I guess the whole wearing white and getting stains on it thing in real life is just as applicable in Roblox. And finally, we have a hat that not a whole lot of people know about, the Sparkling Star Slide hat. But October, it doesn't have Friday Face in its name, therefore you can't review it. Well, guess what? It still has the frowny face on it. You just can't see it unless you're in-game wearing it. Ha! <clears throat> this thing is only obtainable via a Roblox toy code. But seriously, how can you even trick yourself into wanting this thing? I mean, look at it. It's gold. Gold. Well, that's all the skater hats. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not reviewing the ones that don't have the frowny face on them because they aren't part of the series. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you like more content like this. We're so close to 1k. I know I sound like a broken record at this point, but come on. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.